everyone. We are live with beautiful and talented Becca Tobin. Thank you so much for being here today, Thanks Becca. Thanks for having me. Let's jump right in. We're here yeah. to talk about your all new June Weddings premiere, yeah. Love at First Dance, which was casted perfectly for someone with such an extensive background Thank in you. dance. Can you tell us what drew you to this project? Yeah, so it, it was really weird. Last year I did the Christmas movie where I played a pop star, so I was singing in that. And then at the end of last year, like right before New Year's Eve, I thought to myself, what do I want to do next year, you know, career-wise? And I actually talked about I wanted to dance again because it's been a few years since Glee. Mm -hmm. um, I come from a Broadway musical theater background, mm -hmm. and it's been it's been a couple of years since I've really danced. So this project came through, and it was very strange because it was actually what I'd sort of been wishing Wanting. for and asking the yeah. universe, and it came, and it was just the script was great, and I just loved I loved the whole idea of it and it turned out to be really a fun experience yeah well how is it like coming back into dance kind of getting back into that um you have a lot of beautiful dance scenes with your co-star Niall Mater how was it the rehearsal process with him it was great we had an amazing amazing choreographer in Victoria where we shot and um I was a little scared. I was intimidated because it had been a couple years and I was a little rusty, but um, Niall was such a great dance partner. He was so game for everything, really hard worker. So we had three full days of rehearsals and learning the choreography. Um, so by the time we shot it, we were really comfortable with it, but it was it was a fun process. That's cool. And yeah. Niall, in the movie, his character is, quote, rhythmic rhythmically challenged. Yeah. So he did all right? Yeah, he was nice. great. He um, was a really quick learner. He he probably comes across as worse than he really was in the movie. In the movie. Yeah. He's a good actor. He's, He's a good actor. Be. Yeah. And there are so many dance lessons between your character Hope and Niall Matter's character Eric in the film, yep. one of which takes place in a pond in yes. the middle of the park. Mm -hmm. Where is the most interesting place you yourself have ever danced? That was an interesting spot, the pond itself. <laughs> um, but I'd say I, I toured with the Trans-Siberian Orchestra wow. for the holidays, and we have these giant catwalks that would come up over the arenas really 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 high up in the air and number one I'm really scared of heights oh, God. so being up there was scary enough but then doing choreography on top of the catwalks oh. above the audience was pretty intense oh. um every night after I got down and we did like hundreds of shows but every night I would be like I were you it. harnessed up there? Or you um, just... There were some platforms that we were harnessed to, but that actual catwalk we were not because we were walking back and forth, and oh. it was just like, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Never oh. want to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Ponds for you from now the on. The pond was amazing. <laughs> on the ground, yes. And as you said, you shot in beautiful Victoria. Yes. How and, and New York as yeah. well. How yeah. was it shooting in such a beautiful place? Victoria is hands down one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. I was, it was the best time of year. It was May. Um, it's stunning. You have to see it. Like I took all these pictures, but it, you have to be there to, to really experience the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. And then New York, I lived in New York for so many years. I've never shot anything in New York. So we were on the Brooklyn Bridge. We were, it was, it was pretty amazing and, and wow. a once in a lifetime experience that I just, the whole time I was like, pinch me, I'm shooting in New York City. Oh, but on the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah. Very crowded place. A very crowded place. Wow. And I was in very high shoes. Oh, God. <laughs> There's many hours Again. but it was worth every moment wow yeah oh my god and love it awesome. first dance it's it's part of hallmark channels june weddings mm -hmm. you yourself were married not too long ago you were a december mm -hmm. bride yes um can you tell us a little bit more about your wedding any special memories yeah have? um we chose to keep it as small as we could mm -hmm. um just because we wanted to spend quality time with everybody there and i felt like the bigger the larger the party got the fewer moments I would have with these people. Mm -hmm. So just spending the whole weekend there and we got snowed in on the final day oh. on Sunday after the wedding. Everyone was supposed to fly oh. out. They probably wanted to kill me. <laughs> but I was like, we get to stay together another day. But we stayed oh. in the night after the wedding and we played board games at the hotel. We oh, ordered pizza. Fun. It was just like such an awesome way to wind down yeah. after such a stressful weekend. And to really get to stay in. Yeah, it was it. cozy. Oh. Yeah, it was cozy. And your wedding dress, we've seen photos. It was beautiful and very unique. You had these really interesting sleeves. Yeah. Did you work with the designer? I did. I tried on a lot of dresses and I just didn't feel like myself and I think that when you come from a performing background you're so used to being in costumes all the time mm -hmm. so every 
wedding dress I put on I felt like I was in a costume and I was like this doesn't feel like me and the designer was so amazing and she's like let's work together let's pick out some fabrics let's pick out a silhouette and oh. let's do it and I actually didn't um pick up my dress until the night before the wedding <gasps> oh god that must have been a little stressful <laughs> it's a little stressful <laughs> I was like hope it fits I don't know well yeah. it's like it was beautiful thank you on you thank you and instead of a cake I wish I could have gone to your wedding it just sounds amazing <laughs> you and your husband did something a little different than your standard wedding cake can you tell us a little bit more yeah so we had donuts because we both love amazing. donuts and um he used to live in Atlanta when we started dating and we would go back and forth a lot and there's a donut shop called Sublime donuts in Atlanta and they are the they are sublime they're the best donuts I've ever had so I would get them every time I was there but then he started taking them with him like in his carry-on oh to LA God. for me and so I was Aww. like first of all I know I'm supposed to marry you because you would bring me donuts across the country mm -hmm. but it was just for us it, it was just a nice little touch that's sweet little yeah inside joke yeah um and let's see, Hope gives brides the abilities and confidence they need during their first dance mm -hmm. with their husbands. What made you feel most confident on your wedding day? I think just being around all my closest friends and feeling good in my dress. I also was like, you know, a little healthier leading up to the wedding. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of Barry's boot camp. Yeah. <laughs> like sweat yeah. my butt off. <laughs> um, and so I just felt, I felt good. I felt healthy. I felt um, supported by all the people that were there. It was nice. Yeah, yeah. that's all that matters, family totally. and friends. Yeah. And we have, getting back into the movie, we have a fan question from Caroline yes. Richardson. Yeah. She asks, what is your favorite or one of your favorite behind-the-scenes moments from Love at First Dance? Ooh, hi, Caroline. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> there were a lot. I would say one of my, the nights I was laughing the most, like really giggling the most, was we shot this scene at a wedding where we were, Niall and I were eating cake. And he made the mistake of the very first shot shoving so much cake oh. in his mouth because it was like his character's choice. But then we had to shoot that several times over and over and over. So he was like on this crazy sugar high and then like crashing and then having to get – like it was – it was just like, I just was like gut laughing the, oh whole, my the whole time. Yeah. We always wonder about those cake tasting oh my scenes gosh. because they just look so delicious and beautiful. Yeah. But then how after many takes like, do you have to do? After like the 10th take, you're like, <laughs> the bites get smaller and you know, like it, it's, I, I knew going into it that I needed to keep my bites small mm -hmm. and maybe like one to two per take. So I like, learned his lesson on this yeah, one with yeah. the cakes. Yeah. <laughs> and getting, we fans, you know, we have lots of comments coming in. They're so happy to see you on their screens again. They loved you in A Song for Christmas. Um, where, as you said, you played undercover pop sensation. Yeah. In this film, you play a skilled dancer. On top of that, you're just an all-around incredible actress. Thank you. A triple threat. What advice would you give to young people who are just starting out in their artistic careers? Um, I would say um, stick with it. There's highs and lows, you know, mm -hmm. but as long as you love it, it's your passion and you can't see yourself really doing anything else, um, find a really good support system, find a really good studio or a voice teacher, mm -hmm. um, and you just always kind of circle back to that. You always come back to the technique and you always come back to knowing that um, there are going to be highs and there are going to be lows, but the highs really do make up for the times that you're like, you know, a little antsy yeah. about when the next job is coming or the next opportunity. But That's great advice. Thanks. That's great advice. And before we go, we have one really beautiful piece of dialogue. Um, one of your lines from the film, it's Hope's favorite saying, mm -hmm. sing like no one is listening, love like you'll never hurt, dance like no one is watching, live like it's heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. She is such a positive character. What are you hoping fans can learn from her in this movie? Um, I want fans to... Uh, realize that we only you know life's short mm -hmm. and um, if there's something you're you're wanting to do or dreaming about doing then you should tr really try to find a way to do it um, you know it's like it, it, dreams are not they don't discriminate mm -hmm. they're for everybody and if you work really hard and that's what you truly want then do it Great advice. Do it. From Becca, just <laughs> yes. do it. Just will you do it. be live tweeting with the fans? I will. Excellent. Yeah. Well, before we go, let's remind everyone when they can watch your yes. new movie. It's this Saturday, uh, June 16th. 16th. Yes. I'm really bad at this part. <laughs> June 16th at uh, 9 Eastern Standard, yes. right? Correct. You're right. You got it. Well, we'll I'm the worst. <laughs> Thank you so much, Becca. Thanks. Thank you.